So I've got the USB. I just sort of nicked or cut, you know, like a little slot there so that the cord could come out. I nicked that out as well and there's like a little burn or score mark there because I kind of I melted down that tab a little bit. I cut off one of the tabs there so that the wires could fit. You can see the the other side of it right here. And then I left obviously the two screw spots so that the screws could still screw in. It's a little bit kicked out and that's just because I don't know. That's how it ended up. <laughs> I used some glue, some hot glue to hold down the board. <laughs> and some hot glue to hold down the the switch. The switch is just a mechanical switch. When it's open, it's on. When it's in, it's off. And I did that so that it would sit sort of flush. I didn't want to sit too flush because then I'd be sort of sticking my finger in the hole there to do it. So I did want it to protrude a little bit, but protrude mostly when it's on so that you can see the difference, right? That way when it's off, it's mostly flush and kind of out of the way and you don't really see it too much. The battery is still just held on by electrical tape. Just sort of kind of route the wires, set the battery in between the pins, and then when the cover goes on, the pressure then applies the, the electrical tape. Pretty easy. The only thing I wish I had done is taken one of the pins that did the reset and create a reset button on the opposite side. I might do a v V2, like a version 2 of this, and in that one I will probably elongate the battery, uh, add some length to the battery so that we add some battery life, and then I have on order a 90 degree USB plug that just kicks out right down there. So I, and I, I don't exactly know how I'll be routing that with the wires the way that they are for the battery, but I guess I'll figure that out. That way then the USB doesn't kick out the side, the USB should kick out next to the switch, and then I'm hoping to get it lengthwise or cut it down so that it just fits in the slot and sort of tucks away. But for now this is version 1.2 and I'm done with this. This is, this is a finished product for me. It works, it does its job, it doesn't look bad, and it does the trick, so it is what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. I know the audio is terrible on this, and my dog keeps shaking the table, so the camera keeps shaking, so I apologize for that, but it is what it is. Thanks for watching. Portable PS4 jailbreak tool.